If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I, I got, got 99, 99 problems, problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol on the cat patrol. Foes that want to make sure my cat's the Welcome back to Cosmolics Anonymous. I am your favorite girl, Bo Vintage, and today's video is, of course, a Botox segment. And I know I have not been consistent with Botox, but honestly, you guys stress me out so much. Like, it's not even funny. You guys, sh like, I get so stressed and overwhelmed when I see the amount of emails that I have, and then I have to pick. And I usually do include everybody's questions, but, like, the amount that I got for this particular week, I can't include everybody's. So I am going to break this up into two separate videos and I'm not making any promises but there may, yeah, there may be two Botox for this week. Just maybe. One might drop on Thursday but I'm not making any promises, okay? Anyway, okay. Our first one is from a boy. I don't think I've had any boys email me so far so I'm really excited about this one. Help me out, sis, he said. Okay, I see you, boo. Okay, he said, hey, Bo, it's your gay brother, Michael. So I'm technically, but not yet, 16 years old, and I'm gay. I always knew I was blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so all of my friends and best friends know, pretty much everyone in my school knows I am, but there's a problem. My mom doesn't know. At least she has an idea I am but doesn't want to accept it. Lately, we've been getting into arguments over petty shit, but when we argue, she always says, quit acting like a fucking sissy. Whoa. No shade, no tea, honey. Your mama, oh, she's shady. This is a shady bit. Okay. Or quit acting like a girl. You, you're not. You were born a boy. Oh my gosh. You know what's so crazy? This entire week, I've been watching, like, weird episodes of Tyra. I don't know why. Like, it came up with my recommendations because I was being ratchet and watching Jerry Springer. Maury. And so I've been watching a lot of old Tyra episodes. And, um, a couple of them were actually... I watched one where I hate being gay. I watched another where was li these little kids that were trans. And they switched over at, like, six years old. And then just other random pregnant prostitutes and all kinds of shit. Anyway, the point is... Never mind. Okay. She is the only person I know who has a problem with gay people. At school and everywhere else, I don't experience shit like this. So when I come home and have to hear shit, hear her say shit like this, it really irritates me. So I'm wanting to tell her I am to set the record and clear anything up, but I want to wait. Here's why. If I tell her now, I'm more than sure I will get kicked out. I have endless places to go, but at the same time, I'd like to stay at my own home. If she were to kick me out... I'd more than likely go to my uncle and aunt's house, who are both dedicated Christians. They don't have a problem with gay people. My cousins have gay friends, but my aunt is the one who I'm more worried about than anything. Reason being, she is a Christian straight from Jamaica. You know how that shit go. I sure do. Okay. And I feel it would be awkward to be in her house with her knowing I'm gay. And here's option number two. Wait till the beginning of summer break and tell her, if I get kicked out, I can move with my best friend and her mom back to Michigan. Me and my best friend were already talking about this, and she talked to her mom, and her mom said if worse comes to worst, I am more than welcome to move in for the summer until things clear up. Should I just not tell her and let her figure it out herself, or tell her and expect the worst? I am having mixed feelings about this because I feel like if you're gay, you're not obligated to come out as gay. I feel if you are, then you are. You don't need to come out. If people want to know, then they can ask. You don't have to make it known. So what do I do, sis? Help me out, please. Lots of love. Okay, boo. I personally think that your mom already knows because usually the mother always knows unless you're, like, super good at hiding it. But most gay guys that I know, they aren't really good at hiding it. Like, my one of my friends is uber gay, and he... He didn't realize that he was uber gay, so he or coming off as feminine. And so when he finally told it, like we always we knew, but he never said anything, so we never asked. Like straight people have this thing about asking people if they're gay because they're not sure how they're gonna take it. So you're obviously one of those people that don't mind to be asked. Like he didn't mind to be asked either, but it's just like a line that you don't want to cross with gay people. So that's probably why your mom's not going to ask you and she's probably waiting for you to tell her. But the fact that she's 
kind of being petty with you and like saying things like she's calling you a sissy and she's telling you that you're a boy and not a girl that's kind of fucked up it is because at the end of the day you are who you are when I was in high school up until the I'm gonna say 10th grade I did not believe that people were born gay legit did not believe it until I had a conversation with this gay guy that was in my class and he's the one that like made me like see very clear and he was just like think about it like this if I know that there's all these negative negative things that go along with being gay why would I choose to be that way why would I choose to like not be the norm and then when he said that, I was like, oh my god, nobody had ever put it, um, put it that way for me, so I never really understood gay people. And I'm coming from a Christian background too, so I'm there thinking it's some abomination, and I'm not really going to get into the religious stuff because that's like neither here nor there at this point. At the end of the day, you are born that way. If you look at motherfucking Delivered, Mr. Delivered, like, he was there. <laughs> I can't even deal. He was on the pulpit talking about he don't like men's no more, but nobody believes you, boo. Like, you are who you are. Just fucking embrace that shit and just be you. Like, at the end of the day, nobody can take that away from you. If your mom does, if you feel, if you genuinely feel like your mom is going to kick you out for this, just don't even tell her because at the end of the day, she already knows. And yes, you should tell her because, of course, when, when people decide to have children, they also have an idea of what they want their children to be and I can guarantee you 99% of parents do care or do want their kid to grow up and get married to preferably the opposite sex because they want grandkids blah 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 and of course you can still give your mom grandkids that's not an issue because of adoption and whatnot but that is probably what she envisioned for you and so her knowing that you're gay she's probably hurting and I don't know like this is a sticky topic I really don't want to talk about it so um but what I will say is this don't tell her like honestly your best interest is what's at stake and you need to watch your own back you don't know how it's gonna turn out you don't know if she's gonna take it wrong or if she's gonna take it right but it's better if you just you know leave it alone until you're older or until you're ready to move out then you tell her like when you're actually ready to move out and start your own life and you know go off to school or something like that then you can tell her or when you're ready to bring somebody home but chances are she's gonna say she already knew and that's what happened with my friend's parents they were like we were just waiting for you to tell us kind of thing because it's obvious most of the time so yeah I would say not to worry about it too much if you're eager and you actually just want to get out of her house then tell her and see how it goes she might not talk to you but she might not kick you out and if she does like you said you got your options and I think that your friend's house would be the best option instead of your family's house just because I feel like when you move into a family's house and that family communicates with your mom it's a little messy what's going on over there if you move into your family's house it can get messy because they're going to be reporting back to your mom and telling her this that and the third and your mom's gonna be asking questions and it's just gonna be a bag of drama so I would say to just move to your friend's house if that's what's um, available to you but at the same time do not overstay your welcome because when you do stay at people's house like <laughs> they'll they may not want you there even though they're letting you stay there so they might get tired of you or you'll do like something really really tiny and minuscule and it'll get blown way out of proportion it's happened to me before right whenever I do my first um, question I'm it's almost like I'm nervous to talk so let me just do a recap of what you're supposed to do so the first thing is I don't think you should tell your mom anytime soon. Do not tell her until you're ready to biggity 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 bounce out of her house. And two, if you do want to tell her and she happens to kick you out, then do not go stay at your aunt's house. Go stay at your friend's house because it's just better that way. You're you're not around people that can report back to your mom or that can, you know, if your mom calls and asks what you're doing they're not obligated to tell her that 
is the second part of my advice. And the third part is if you do happen to go move into your friend's house, do not overstay your welcome because something small and minuscule like, I don't know, leaving the toothpaste open or squeezing the toothpaste from the middle rather than from the bottom can really, really start to cause a problem, whether it be with your friend's mom or with um, your friend. So, yeah, if I think I answered all your questions, I'm just going to look at the email one more time. So hopefully that was helpful, okay, because I gave you an earful. And if not, you already know you can email me and we can talk it out, okay? Okay. So number two. Lord, I don't, I don't even know. I'm just going to open a random one or whatever it is, whatever it is. Anonymous, so we're not going to say her name. She didn't tell me. Hi, I have three best friends at school. They are all skinny, tall, and beautiful. I'm average height and a little bit chubby. Girl, you know food is life. Stop this. <laughs> One of my friends, let's call her Hannah. She always calls me fat and ugly, but in a secretive way. Oh, she a shady bitch. Oh, ain't no secrets, bitch. She's shady. Okay. My other friend, her name will be Ashley only talks about herself 24 7 but i really don't care anymore my last friend mia is what I we'll call her she is nice and awesome and is the reason i found god in my heart and i love her so much but she feels like my other friends only like me and not her so what the this is stupid why are you like i don't even need to read anymore i'm gonna read the rest but this is actually dumb like you just got your answer right there like y'all two just need to go peace out and hang out on your own like four is a motherfucking crowd bitch three's a crowd like get your life like okay two was a party yeah like two was a riot like i when i was in high school there was only one person i hung out with for the entire grade nine and grade ten well there was a group and then we broke off and just did our own thing and we like we were a riot like oh my gosh anyway shout out to cmz hey girl hey how you doing anyway i don't think that's true because they always make fun of me i feel like i'm in an abusive relationship with hannah and ashley hannah ashley and mia all have boys who have crushes on them i feel like i'm their duff Ooh. No, not the dove. <laughs> not the dove. I can't talk to them about it because every time I try, they bring up old problems that we've already solved and blame everything on me. Yep, yeah, this one's too easy. Like, the advice for this is too easy. Stop talking to these bitches. Fuck them. Just hang out with Mia because Mia seems like she's cool. And just be you two. Like, you guys, you don't really have to cut these girls off completely and entirely like you don't exist bitch but what you should do is just tell them like you know we're not gonna eat lunch with you anymore you can't sit with us <laughs> you can't that's what you need to tell them and yeah just hang out with Mia like if you if Mia feels like those girls only like you and you feel like those girls are picking on you why don't you just drop those two girls you and Mia hang out and just be the best of friends and your friendship will probably last forever because honestly when you have a less amount of friends in a group the friendship is just so much more real because that person you know that person's not giving your tea to nobody else they pour your tea into nobody's cup like no so that's the best part of that's why I hang out with all my friends on the ones because I don't have time for people to be talking my business if I tell them my business to other people like at the end of the day, if you are my friend and you talk to me about your friends, then I know that you're talking about me to your friends too. Like, I'm not an idiot. So just hang out with one person and you'll be a lot more happy. Like, don't worry about what anybody has to say. If you chug me, keep eating, bitch. Like, what? You know, I shouldn't be saying that. People are going to be like, are you um, promoting obesity on your channel? Like, no, but food makes people happy and everybody deserves to be happy so if you are having a body image problem then you have to deal with that on your own like you have to like sit there and like convince yourself one first of all once you stop worrying about the weight that's when the weight will fall off of you if you're constantly worrying you're going to be no like you have to exercise and stuff too and, and eat healthy and eat clean but at the same time you can't like 
be thinking oh my god I'm so fat oh my god I'm so fat because like I used to do that all the time I do it I still do it like oh my god I'm like obese like I just feel so horrible and then I'll go and eat like a big bowl of fruit loops to comfort myself <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense but because when you do that when you are thinking you're fat all you, the next thing you're gonna think about is what snack you want to eat like <laughs> there's no point in beating yourself up about it if you're not gonna like go outside and run it'll get to that point for you but if you just if you're looking at your friends like they're prettier than you and they're skinny and tall like you're never gonna feel good about yourself so honestly like I said in probably one of my first videos my first Botox videos fake it till you make it girl fake it till you motherfucking make it just tell yourself all the things that you desire tell yourself all the things you want to be and eventually they will come true because you're speaking them into existence okay if you want to be Naomi Campbell, then you can be. Okay. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, this one was actually really easy. So thank you for your small paragraph. Like, y'all sending me, like, novels. I swear to God, you guys are sending me novels, and I'm going crazy. So whenever I get a novel, I'm just like, oh, my God, why? And then I tried to, like... You, there's no easy way for me to do this like I tried to like skim through it but I can't like the tea is piping hot it's good and I can't just skim through it I have to read the whole thing and then I have to get to the end where the question is located but I really wish y'all would just keep it to a paragraph or less like summarize this shit don't be telling me your whole life story it ain't that deep so boo boo um i think you need you know what you need to do screw these bitches hang out with mia and call it a day that's really all you need to do okay love you hey bo so i have this crush on this guy who i had a history class with last semester we don't have classes together and i rarely see him on campus however we exchanged numbers when we had classes when we had class together when we used to text each other, it was normally about the projects and exams, but I had a feeling that he found me attractive, but he never really made any moves. Anyways, I was leaving the gym at our university one day, and I saw him get into a car with a girl. <laughs> Seeing him made me kind of jealous of the girl, so I decided <laughs> so I decided to do some investigating on his Twitter. Oh, bitch, you messy. He didn't have any recent posts or pictures of the girl for Valentine's Day, etc. But he did have some old pictures of what appeared to be the same girl from two years ago. Bitch, did you have binoculars? How you know it was the same girl he was getting in the car with from these pictures? Like, what? Okay, bitch, you have binoculars. I can't. You a real spy. I casually texted him one day to see how his classes were going and he responded. But he seemed kind of dry. Or maybe I was overthinking things because he possibly had a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't have much experience dating. I've only had one boyfriend and I'm 20 years old. Should I tell him that I have a crush on him or like him? How would I know if he's even attracted to me or likes me? I don't want to embarrass myself or look foolish. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, the worst that could happen if you do tell him is that he'll be like, I have a girlfriend or... Or she could just start the conversation off with, hey, I seen you with a girl. Was that your girlfriend? She's pretty. <laughs> there you go. Because apparently, <laughs> apparently Shooter is doing Shooter talks. <laughs> if you didn't get that, um, he said, just be like, oh my gosh, I saw you with a girl the other day. Is that your girlfriend? She's really pretty. Which is, I guess, a conversation no, starter. Saying, no, that was my cousin. Or, or yeah, what if it's Hi. a sister? Like, were they kissing in these photos? It could, that girl could have been anybody, and I do think you are overthinking it, but it's like, it's kind of weird to just text somebody out of the blue and be like, I have a crush on you when you were only with them in a class for one semester and you guys never had any real conversations. Guys, if he's shy, he's, he wouldn't have pursued you, but if he's not shy, then he is probably just not interested, but you, you'll never know unless you you know strike up a conversation a random conversation and not one that has to do with classes maybe just hit him up and be like how's your news how um what are you taking this semester how you know regular casual conversation i really don't know how to talk to niggas so shooter said to do exactly what he said and i kind of agree with that so maybe i should just leave it at that because that was a pretty that's good a win, advice win. yeah that's yeah that is a win-win he's either it's a yes or no question and if he says no, then be like, 
that makes Ooh. me happy. Like what? <laughs> like what? Oh, that's my chill girl. So okay. Good. I was jealous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> see, yeah. Babe, get out of here. Get out. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah. Tell him. Like I was kind of jealous because you know you cute, <laughs> you cute, and uh, I'm trying to slide up in your DMs. So you don't really need sliding DMs, honey, because you got the number. So yeah, that's basically the best advice, and I didn't give it, so I ain't gonna take the credit. But yeah, that's. I got nothing left to say. This Botox is going real smooth. I'm appreciating this. Please don't be long. Oh wow, you guys are sent. I like you guys are sending me these short. These are good. Like I haven't opened any of these. I got this on February 28th. What day of the month is it? The 14th. Like this is horrible. Okay. You can call me Chris. Hi Boo. My name is Bo. <laughs> Let me address this right now. I'm gonna do a whole video on this, I think, because y'all be stressing me out. My name is Bo Vintage. I'm only gonna say this once. Like, if you need to know how to spell it, it's B O E space V Y N T A G E. Like, did I spell that right? V Y N T A G E. Yes, like, that is my name. Do not call me Sabrina. Do not call me Brie. My name is Bo, and that's all I will be responding to. And that's just the end of that. Like, Ran over, okay. Hi, Bo. I just wanted to talk to you about a situation that I'm having right now. I've been friends with this boy for almost two years. A month ago, he told me that he likes me, and I like him too, so we started dating. The problem was that I couldn't hang out with him so often because I have to take care of my sister because my parents don't have days off, so I have to stay at home. They have to work a lot because we're having one of those rough times with money. The thing is that he couldn't understand that and he used to get mad at me because I couldn't go out with him. So three days ago he broke up with me for this situation. What should I do? Because I really like him and I wanted to go and explain to him that it's just not easy what is happening to me or should I just let it go? Bye boo. I love your videos by the way. Thank you. I, y'all already know how I feel about these clingy ass crazy niggas like I don't have the time for them and you shouldn't either if it's a situation where it's like first of all family should come first and hanging out with niggas is not your real priority let's like let's be real here even if he is your boyfriend if if it were me in the situation and I had a little brother or sister to watch and my parents were working I would tell my parents how old, I don't know how old you are. The, and at the end of the day, I would tell him to come over and hang out while I watched my little sister, brother, whatever. Because how else are we supposed to spend time together if we don't do this? If that's what he broke up with you for, like, he kind of lame. Like, I don't think I would even travel back to that. M your boyfriend or girlfriend, whoever you're dating, is supposed to be really understanding. And I apologize about all this bad ground noise because shooting over there in the kitchen like I can't anyway they are supposed to be really understanding they're not supposed to give you shit for things you cannot control like the fact that you have to stay home and babysit is out of your hands like that's out of your control and so somebody that you're dating should understand that and get that you don't got you don't have all the time in the world and if you could you freaking would and that's just like that you should take that don't take me for granted like I'm doing all that I can kind of thing so if he can't understand that then yeah just let it go if you really 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 like him and you want to make this relationship work then of course go talk to him and be like look I don't have control over this situation if you can't be patient with me then you're free to go but I, I really don't want to end our relationship on something so trivial and that's the, that's like the best thing you can do. But don't I don't want you to feel like you have to explain you don't have to explain yourself to anybody. I don't want you to feel like you have to explain yourself to him, but if that's something that you genuinely want to do and in your heart you feel like you should do that and that he'll um be receptive to that, then definitely do it. Did I use the right word just now? I think I did. I don't know. <sighs> Hey, Bo, let me start off by saying I know snooping is wrong. So, a couple months ago, during a snowstorm, sorry, I just made up snow. Snow is not in here anyway, but we're going to say it anyway. During a snowstorm, a tree fell on my house and knocked a power line down. My phone was dead, but my boyfriend's personal phone was 
with me at home fully charged he was at work so I just grabbed it to call the electric company emergency number so they could come and restore my power anyway as I'm talking to the service person I needed to get into my email to get my account number so I go into his email put your gloves on babe I go into his email to log into my account before I log him out I noticed some weird emails the title of one was T4M I was confused and just clicked on it to see where it was from and what they were talking about. I see a thread of messages from my BF to whoever this T4M person was. Who the fuck emails? Is How old is your boyfriend? Is he from the 1960s? Like why? Savage, he's yeah, he's savage as fuck. <laughs> anyway, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I see a thread of messages from my boyfriend to whoever this T4M person was. I didn't see anything too crazy, just my boyfriend telling the person to text him on his work phone number. I finally realized that the messages are from a Craigslist post. Girl! Oh, so I Google what T4M means. Trendy for men, bomba clot! We are chop on y'all! What? That's deep. So I Google what T4M means. Tranny for men, I cannot deal. What is the tea? I could feel my heartbreak at that moment. My question is, I haven't confronted him about it, and I'm trying to act as normal as possible without making him feel awkward. Bitch, no. Bitch, no, because these niggas are, these down low ass niggas be fucking contracting these diseases and giving them to us poor women. Like, no, like, No, why why are you being nice? Like what? I would have for okay. No. <laughs> um My question is no no, I'm not there. I want to ask him about it, but I don't want to embarrass him and I don't want him to think that I was just snooping. I don't know if I can stay with him knowing that he could possibly be bisexual. What should I do? Our relationship has been great up until now. He is my best friend, but I feel betrayed and disgusted that he would keep something like this from me, and it infuriates me. That's not bisexual, that's gay. Oh yeah, bisexual, yeah. Girl, honey, boo. I'm gonna leave your name out of this, okay? Because, mm. That's some tea right there. This is the tea. Like, this almost feels like this could not be real like this I feel like somebody that's watching my videos would not be experiencing this like what are you saying to me I first of all you're good because let me tell you right now if I was dating some nigga and I went through his emails and I seen T4M and I googled it and all that niggas would not be breathing I'm killing you that's just it, it is what it is and I'm going to jail for the rest of my life it that just is what it is like what do you mean? <laughs> what? I don't even know what to tell you because honestly, I would have like I don't know how you're keeping this. I don't know how you're keeping your composure. I don't know how you're you haven't said anything yet, and I don't know how you feel like you don't want him to feel embarrassed or awkward. Bitch, no, I'm calling you out. What do you mean? You're first of all, this is cheating. Not only are you cheating, you're cheating with a trans person. No shade to the transgenders. I just mean if I'm dating somebody, I would hope that the person that I'm dating of the opposite sex is only into the opposite sex. And not like if you're cheating with another female, I'm going to feel some type of way. But at least it's another female and you're not like on the DL and you don't know who you are as a person. You don't know what your sexuality is and you're out there experimenting. Not while you're dating me. No, you're not. <laughs> I refuse. So, you honestly, you should just be straight up about it. Be like, that time that the power went out, I needed to log into my email through, and I had your phone. So I decided to go into your Gmail account, and I saw something that was kind of sketchy, and I ended up googling it, and this is what came up. And I know you ain't doing no documentary on trannies, so I'm gonna have to ask you what the fuck is up. You don't really even need, first of all, I wouldn't even need to know what's up. I would just have ended it. <laughs> you, I would have ended it with like not even explaining myself. I would have been like, this is too much. This is too much. That's like, that's just, that's just me though.
that's what I would have done I can't really tell you what to do but I would have been pieced out a long time ago you're real good thing what did you say that's crazy. crazy oh girl get your life get out of that relationship because at the end of the day that is not some secret that's not a regular secret like that's not a secret or a lie that you can that's forgivable because for the mere fact that if you're on Craigslist looking for something like that that means that you're sexually active with 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 another human being whether the human being is a woman a freaking man or a freaking transgender it doesn't matter what the person is the fact is that you were on Craigslist paying for some pussy dick or dick pussy I don't know either way is not okay so please remove yourself from that situation because these people people that pay for sex some of them are safe and like some of them use protection and some of them don't a lot of people prefer not to so ooh. Ooh, it's dangerous. This is very dangerous, and I really, I just, <laughs> bitch, bye. Like, no, please go. That's it. That's it. I can't. All right, next question. Hey, Bo. I need advice on three things. One, I need some advice. I have a friend online that is always depressed, and I don't know what to do. They say things like they want to kill themselves or cut themselves. I really try to make them feel better, but I don't know how to. Everything I've said hasn't been working. They just keep saying you're going, they're going to kill themselves. I don't want them to. It's really hard. Okay. When I was in the, I'm going to say, sixth grade, I had a friend like this. From grade four to grade six, we were best friends. In grade six, she started hanging out with this girl that was in a grade higher than her. Uh, that was in grade seven and she was just becoming I don't even know she was she was cutting herself she was she was acting crazy and it got to the point like we didn't know if she was doing it for attention or what but she was going through a lot especially at home and stuff and we didn't know what it was for but we were like, you need to fucking stop, and if you don't, we're going to tell your mom, and blah, 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 and I was really, 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 really hard on her, like, super duper hard, like, I'm tough love, like, I was just like, bitch, I'm not dealing with you, if you want to fucking do this, you want to hoe and be crazy, I'm going to freaking let you, like, I'm not going to stand by you while you do this shit, and she took it the wrong way, she didn't take it as tough love, she felt like I was... I was fucked up to her like and I and I, a little I only know that because I like once we got to high school we went to two different schools but once we got to high school I heard that that's how she felt so I was just like Ew. it's kind of sticky and so I advise tough love but at the same time with people that are depressed and crying out for help on the regular especially if it's it's really annoying when it's on social media because it's like are you just doing this for attention or are you genuinely sad depressed and wanting to die and with people like that you have to be sensitive to their feelings because you don't know if it's actually an, a, a cry for help or a cry for attention either way you're gonna get one or the other you don't want to say anything to this person that's gonna trigger them and just you know make them go fly off they rocker so you have to handle this person with care and you just need to let them know that one you're always there for them two anything they need well actually no do not make any promises because if you tell them that if, if you tell somebody that is like that that you'll help them with anything they need and then they ask you for the one thing that you can't deliver like a motherfucking new puppy to play with they're gonna blame you for their damn suicide and it's not okay so um i think you should just encourage them and just talk to them as much as possible continuously check up on them and make them feel like they have something to live for it's kind of hard to deal with people that are in that state. I'm actually dealing with somebody that's in that state right now. Not necessarily wanting to kill herself, but she's super duper duper depressed. And 
there's nothing I don't really know how to handle the situation she's older than me and I love her to death but I don't really know how to deal with the situation she's going through a lot and so the best thing I can do is send her some funds and call her and talk to her and laugh with her and just you know be a friend to her but that's it like I honestly I don't know how else to handle the situation um, but you have to get to the root of the problem find out what's really really ticking them off or bothering them and try to help them fix that like if you have the actual time to just go to their house and sit with them or talk to them or fucking color with them like just do anything just spend time with them will you just go sit and watch Jerry Springer anything literally anything just so that they know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel one and two things get better I think that's the biggest thing people that deal with depression don't realize that things do get better especially well not even people that deal with depression people that should be on suicide watch they don't realize that this is not the end of the world like whatever you're going through there's things going on that are much worse like always think of life like this there's somebody out there going through something worse than you so even on your worst day there's somebody out there that's going through something worse than you like so you know life is like that and you can't really i don't know what the fuck i was about to say but like i'm i'm fucking tired but yeah um yeah just be there for them okay and the whole cutting thing cut, like cutting is so gross they just be reusing the same blades and shit and it's like you're not they're not even the thing is they don't even cut to um they, they ain't cutting to kill themselves if you look at somebody that's cut arm that cuts if you look at their arm a lot of the time is just horizontal cuts going this way and it's literally just little scrapes it's not even like deep gashes but somebody that's really trying to kill themselves that cuts knows that that's not how you kill yourself and that's all i'm gonna say i'm about to be on here being some tell y'all how to commit suicide like no none of that so um yeah like if you look at somebody's arm and it's just a bunch of horizontal cuts it's like they're doing it for attention they're not doing it because they may be going through something that is causing them pain and so they rather feel physical pain but like go get a tattoo bitch like what i don't know either way um just find out what's really hurting this person and then go from there and two well that's only she says she needs advice on three things she only sent me two two second thing she needs advice on is I have a dilemma it's kind of hard for me to talk to boys I have a crush on this guy and I don't have the courage to talk to him I never talk to him actually how do I just walk up and start a discussion damn Daniel that's how just go up to him <laughs> just go up to him and compliment him just be like I'm, oh my god I really like your shoes or I really like your shirt or I really like your chin <laughs> I don't know you could just say something random and he might like for all you know the guy's probably like waiting for you to talk to him maybe he likes you too and you guys are just too awkward peas in a pod like you know what I mean so with things like that, you are never going to know until you step outside of your comfort zone and just grab the bull by the horns. Like, that's basically it. That's the only way to talk to somebody that you like if you've never talked to them before. Just, and just be frequent about it too. Like, one day tell him you like his shoes, and then the next day come up to him and be like, oh my god, that's a really cool shirt. And then the next day come up to him and be like, let's go on a date. <laughs> So, I mean, that's, I, I don't know, I don't, I feel like I didn't have these problems. I didn't have, like, a crush, and I was, like, afraid to talk to him. Actually. You know how many girls probably have this problem? Because guys are too chicken to talk to girls nowadays, and girls want to talk to the guys, but it's, like, not proper... Yeah, it's not for chivalry. The girl to holler. Yeah, it's weird for girls to Fucking approach holler. guys. You know but what guys are shy. Would be out here if the girls would just step up and be like, "Fuck, I can't your BBM. Take it's, our place." It's weird. <laughs> I I could never if unless I'm drunk. I ain't asking nobody for nothing. Like. What's on the drink? 
I these kids are chill. These are children. I'm not telling them to go take a shot before first period of ninth grade. Like no. <laughs> so honestly, just just go say something random, and maybe maybe he'll react to it in a positive way. Not even maybe. Like if you compliment somebody, they're gonna smile. They're gonna be happy about it for the rest of the day. If he has like really nice teeth, go up to him and be like, I'm like totally obsessed with your teeth. I know I'm creepy, but it is what it is. <laughs> and then that's just the end of that. But you can't be afraid to like just go casually start up a conversation with him because you never know where it's gonna go. If you actually have a crush on him and he's just a quiet guy, he probably has a crush on a, a million girls at the school, but he's never gonna talk to them, just like you are scared to talk to him. So you could be one of those crushes, girl. You, but you're gonna lose out if you don't just go tell him that his shoes are nice, okay? anyway or you know what I used to do me and my friend um, Sam when we were in high school we were just super duper I'm so enclosed in a box but Sam really brought me up my shell and in high school I had a digital camera and I would always just go up to random people and like take pictures with them and just be like smile and blah blah, blah and take selfies selfies before selfies were a thing like before I deleted my old Facebook, you guys would have been able to go and see all these old pictures of me. And to this day, I regret deleting it and there's just no way to get my Facebook back. Mark Zuckerberg, if you're watching this video, please help. Please help. Like, I really want my old Facebook back and I can't get it back. So, um, yeah, I used to have a digital camera and I would just go up to random people. And now we have smartphones with cameras built in. Well, we had them back then too. But not as good but yeah now you can just go and be like hey I'm snapchatting want to be in my snapchat and then just be like on your snapchat just be like this is my new friend you can even call him your boyfriend unless he has a girlfriend you don't want to get your ass beat so you could just do random stuff like that and guys like people think that that some people think that that's cute some people think it's weird but at the end of the day who cares you just having fun okay so I like this guy Kyle and my friend Stacy likes him and he likes her back so I don't know if he likes me because he's so unpredictable so I'm trying to get Stacy and Kyle together but I try to make them happy but every time I do it's just breaking my heart more and more stop doing that D just don't <laughs> just just don't insert yourself there so I want to text Stacy and say I'm done with this drama okay but I have to remember I started it and I just really like Kyle he's a bad boy but I can never bring myself to really look at it and to think for a moment that he actually likes me because if I do I might be jumping to conclusions thinking that he does and then get my heart broken please help I really need help I don't know what to do I feel like I'm stuck in the middle I just want them to be happy but how do I avoid getting a broken heart from my really tired fingers okay um see this email was sent to me three times and I still don't understand what the fuck I just read like I honestly I think I might have got it this time because it was really broke like it's literally the same exact email that three times and so this is the advice I'm gonna give do not insert yourself to try to set these two up to make them happy when you in fact like Kyle if you like somebody whether you're friends with somebody else that likes that person too if you know those two people like each other it is not your job to make them happy or make them be together in fact it's a little weird you cannot do stuff like that just because it's like why are you even putting yourself in that position you don't really want them to be happy that's like who would want somebody to be happy with somebody else other than them like and I know that sounds crazy and selfish but it's true like I wouldn't want to see shooter with no other bitch so like no it's just not going down like that so either you're going to die at my hands or everybody's gonna be single 
that just is what it is like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna help Shooter find a new girlfriend like I'm not gonna do that if we were to break up I'm not gonna help Shooter find a new girlfriend I'm not gonna co-sign whatever bitch he's talking to like it's just not gonna happen so I think you should just leave them alone if they're gonna be together they're gonna be together if you think that Kyle may like you then tell him that you like him and see where it can go if you don't want to do that then just leave the situation alone and eventually you won't really have feelings for Kyle because you guys never really pursued anything nothing ventured nothing gained did you guys watch sweet life of Zach and Cody okay nothing ventured nothing gained Carrie told y'all okay so the way to avoid getting your heart broken is to mind your business that's that's just what it is you just gotta mind your business and keep to yourself and just maintain your friendship with Stacy if you want to and leave Kyle the hell alone chicks before dicks okay this one cuz it's juicy hey boo I need help so me and my ex broke up April last year and we still keep in contact because I lost my virginity to him And he apparently still loves and cares about me, but he has a girlfriend that's fucking 15. Well, you didn't tell me how old he is, so I can't judge and call him Tiger just yet, but he probably a Tiger. So, he's cheated on her multiple times, and even with me when I didn't know he was with her. And once I found out, I told his girlfriend and she's still with him. She's young. She's 15. She gonna stay. That, it just is what it is, because, you know, dick to bomb, all that. Okay. Um, anyways, so I still love my ex since he was my first everything and he was a big part of my life, but I just don't understand him. He has a girlfriend, but he loves me and wants to not talk. He loves that pussy. Yeah, <laughs> but he loves me and wants me to not talk to any guy or go out with guys, nothing. But it's okay for him to have a girlfriend and cheat on her, then come tell me he loves me. I really don't know what to do with this situation it's irritating me like crazy there's a lot more to the story but I'd be sitting here typing for hours please help me love you thank you for not sitting there and typing for hours because I really I really can't with the pay with the multiple paragraphs this is short and sweet and unique I love it okay so um cut the chains cut the chains off this nigga because at the end of the day is at the end of the day any man that has a girlfriend, first of all, no. Any ex-man of yours that has a girlfriend and is still trying to communicate with you. It was probably cheating on you too. It was probably cheating on you too. And Shooter just said it before I even could get the fucking sentence out. He's a dog ass nigga. Roof, roof. Okay, he needs to put on that Snapchat filter and call it a day. Because that's all he is. He's a dog. Like, you don't want nobody like that in your life. Any man that's cheating on somebody with you would cheat on you with somebody and you guys girls whoever watching this y'all need to understand that because like when girls when side chicks are being side chicks I'm and thinking that the man is gonna leave them for leave their girls or their wives whoever for the woman that they're having an affair with I'm like you bitches have lost your motherfucking marbles you are a plaything you're not the real deal and he's trying to control you and keep you in a bubble so that you're only fucking him when he's steady fucking somebody else that doesn't make any sense to me so just don't even talk to this man because he's clearly a nut job <laughs> and a dog so I mean I always tell you guys I can't necessarily tell you what to do I can only suggest things that I would do but I'm telling you right now if somebody were if I had knowledge that you were cheating. First of all, Jesus is not fucking someone else's man. First of all. You need to let her know that. She's out here fucking another man's another girl's man. No, she said she, that it was only she found out. Oh, okay, then you can cut that out. <laughs> I'm leaving that shit in. You can't be doing all that. And I'm. Before that girl's emailing in. <laughs> so, honestly, you just. You're not fucking him still, but you are communicating with him and he's telling you that he loves you. He don't love you. He love your box. Okay? 
and brawls in the lab. He loves your box. He doesn't love you. He loves the fact that he took your virginity from you, that you were that you gave him that pleasure. And when a man takes your virginity from you, they know how tight your vagina is and they know that it's the tightest, like the tightest. So Obviously, he's gonna want to keep fucking you because whoever he's fucking is probably a little fat ass bitch and her holes deep and wide. That's probably all it is, and you should really just move on from that situation because if he's dogging her out, he will dog you out. And that's basically that's basically all the advice I have for you, Sugar Plum. So I hope you take it into consideration and you do what's best for you. Anyway, you guys, I do love you all. If you do want to be a part of Botox, actually, do not email me this week, y'all. I can't with the emails because um, next week's Botox video or segment will be strictly about credit, moving out, life after high school. It's just things that I want to talk to you guys about. It's not going to be questions pouring in and overwhelming the kid. So, yeah, do not, well, you can email me, but your question will not be answered in next week's Botox, and that's actually why I think I definitely will film the rest of the questions for this video and put out two Botox videos this week so that next week when I drop the Botox on the credit and stuff, that it's like really just an informative video and not a video about people's tea so yes i do love you all if you do have a question for me make sure you just send me an email at cosmoholicsanonymous at gmail.com so i love you all and i will definitely see you in the next one